When the Condit Dam exploded in the state of Washington in 2011, it was an explosion heard around the world in the river protection community. The video of the explosion has been viewed over a million times. The explosion helped inspire the film Damnation, which brought the concept of tearing down dams to a global audience. Damnation film also reignited one of the longest running dam controversies in the world, the fate of Glen Canyon Dam on the Colorado River. Surely no man-made structure in modern American history has been hated so much by so many for so long with such good reason as Glen Canyon Dam. Reviled for now over 50 years, the idea of tearing down Glen Canyon Dam has new life. Hi, I'm Gary Walkner, the director of Save the Colorado. We're standing here at Glen Canyon Dam today in Page, Arizona. One of our campaigns is that we uh, oppose Glen Canyon Dam and we actually want to have it torn down. And we have three big reasons for that. The first reason, climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change has changed everything on the Colorado River. Look, everyone knows climate change has doomed Glen Canyon and Lake Powell. For nearly two decades, there has been a slow, steady decline of water flowing into the reservoir because of climate change. It's now less than half full. They will soon be unable to generate hydroelectric power at the dam. It's time to recognize reality. Glen Canyon Dam is the dinosaur of the water world. It's an antiquated, out of date, and irrelevant vestige of another era. Dams are generally not good for communities in the region. Uh, they actually uh, cover the communities with water and the people have to move, uh, or they cover the land where people get their livelihoods, or increasingly now we know that they uh, create methane in the atmosphere, which has a adverse effect on our already dire situation with climate change. We've learned a lot in the United States about why we don't even need dams and why a lot of the old dams that were built were unnecessary to begin with just as Edward Abbey and his crew thought. I'm just saying, let's get rid of the Glen Canyon Dam. We never needed it, we don't need it, and it would be the right thing to do. When this dam was built, hydropower seemed to make more sense. There were less alternatives, but now solar power is extremely uh, inexpensive and is being deployed increasingly across the United States and elsewhere on the planet. We live here in the desert southwest, for crying out loud. The sun is out almost every single day. This is a perfect place to deploy uh, solar power as an alternative to hydropower. It would be cheaper, faster, and easier. One of my photographic heroes is Elliot Porter. He was the color Ansel Adams of the 20th century. He published a book called The Place That No One Knew. And in that book, he said, among other things, that Glen Canyon, in some ways, was even more spectacular than the Grand Canyon. This reservoir, unfortunately, today is now a boondoggle, has no future. Let's raise the dam and let the Colorado River run freely through Glen Canyon again. And instead of it being the place that no one knew, let's make it the place that everyone will get to enjoy, just like they get to enjoy the Grand Canyon today. We're down at the bottom of the Grand Canyon here along the Colorado River. If we look at the river right now, you can see that it's a little bit green. Um, the Colorado River is not supposed to be green. It's supposed to be red. Colorado means color red in Spanish. The reason why it's a little bit green is because Glen Canyon Dam blocks all the sediment. And the sediment is that orange and red uh, mud that usually flows down the river and turns the river this uh, uh, natural muddy red color. Right now, um, Glen Canyon Dam, they let a certain amount of water through it, and it's completely controlled by the dam and the dam operators for the use of hydroelectric power. And so you don't get the big spring high flows in June, July, and August, and you don't get low winter flows. It's a very steady control right now. 
and normally you would get a lot of change in the height, huge floods and high flows in the, in the spring and summer and low flows in the winter. If you had a natural flow regime with real water in it, it would also have a lot of nutrients in it that would feed the fish and all the uh, wildlife along there. Right now, there are endangered species that are struggling for survival or have been completely extirpated from the Grand Canyon. And it's because the ecology has changed so dramatically. The, the lack of nutrients in the water, the water temperature is also very cold because it comes out of the bottom of the dam. And because the water is, is a little bit clear and sort of greenish rather than a deep murky uh, orange and red. And so uh, we're, one of our campaigns is to tear down Glen Canyon Dam and restore the Grand Canyon. In 2016, the U.S. Department of Interior issued a new 20-year management plan for Glen Canyon Dam. This plan purposely, willfully, and illegally ignored climate science and climate change. The best available climate science indicates that flows will likely be dramatically reduced in the Colorado River over the next decades, making the Glen Canyon Dam Management Plan into a worthless piece of paper. Save the Colorado is the science flank of the environmental movement in the Colorado River Basin. We filed a climate change lawsuit against Glen Canyon Dam to enforce the law and force the Department of Interior and the Bureau of Reclamation to stop denying climate science on the Colorado River. Climate change is the biggest threat facing the Colorado River and its ecosystem, as well as the biggest threat to our human survival in this hot and dry landscape. Save the Colorado is standing up to do what we can, when we can, and where we can. Join us.